Hey everybody, Danny Watt here. Thanks for joining us. This week I've got something super special for you. I had a dozen students online this week, all with different faults. A few of them were slicing the golf ball. They were coming across the line of the golf ball here, slicing it, getting these big booming slices with, this, with their irons and the driver. Um, two or three of them were getting hooked, so they're getting stuck inside and they were flicking it. And another couple were getting this kind of flicky ground before contact, so not very pleasant. Now they all wanted to work on their downswing. They thought that that was the problem. But you know what? We actually worked on their takeaway because the first few feet that in all of their swings was causing all the problems. I gave them this just, honestly, you're gonna love it. This simple, simple takeaway drill and it transformed all, it wasn't 12, it was about 11 people. 11, it was unbelievable. Now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share with you what all the best players do in the takeaway in a technical fashion. Then I'm gonna show you how you can simply achieve it without thinking of a load of stuff, right? So let's get started. So, what I see with a lot of amateurs here is they take the club, they take the club with, back with their hands, they flick it inside here, and this is what the slicers tend to do. The club gets stuck behind, and then the body reacts and goes, well, the tag is not over there, so then it loops it back and comes across the line of the golf ball, yeah? For those that hook, it often is the opposite. They, get, they pick the club up here. Now the club needs to be somewhere here. They then drop it inside and swing too far this way and start hooking it, right? So what the best players do, they have what's called a coordinated move away. So the lead arm is connected to the chest here, and this forms a lever, lever between the lead arm and the club. And that lever is kept intact. It's not activated too early. It works away in a coordinated fashion here. That's the first thing. The second thing, they're managing the club face. They're not rolling the face. When they take the club back here, the club face is ends up roughly parallel to their spine angle here. As you take the club back, it ends up eventually parallel with the foot line. This is, what they're ha uh, this is what's happening. But it's often way too much to think about. So how do you achieve all those positions here in a natural way? Watch this. So I give them a little frisbee exercise. So remember, we're trying to kind of create this motion where we don't flick it and activate this lever too early. Watch this. Take a frisbee in your trail hand. And what we're gonna imagine is we're gonna imagine throwing the frisbee from our golf position into this top corner here, not towards you, not over there, but over there. So watch this, notice. Well, when you throw a frisbee, do you flick it early? Well, no, flicking it early would be this. We don't flick a frisbee here, do you? What you do is, is there's a flexion here, and then, if you were gonna throw it over there, the flick would happen later, wouldn't it? So just imagine flicking it over there, throwing it as far as you can in this corner, then suddenly what you're gonna get is a natural feeling of exactly how you take the club away. Watch this. There, I'm naturally online, and then when does the wrist cock happen? Off the mass uh, players. Well, it happens when you decide to release the frisbee. Over there. So suddenly we're gonna release the frisbee, we get the wrist cock naturally. Yeah, can you see that? So you start to get this feeling here of, okay, there's a frisbee, I'm gonna, Throw it over there. Now we're not, get, we're not flicking it around the corner because you don't throw a frisbee here. We're just throwing it over there. Get a feel for that and start to play some shots. But before we do, you could do exactly the same on the other side. See, not, when you've actually got to the stage where you're throwing the frisbee here, well, what's the downswing? Well, now imagine throwing the frisbee over there. Would we throw the frisbee like this, no. Would we release it here? No, watch. Take the frisbee and then imagine you're gonna throw it into that corner as far as you can. Now, what does this do? Watch this. When you're here, as you're coming down, you naturally keep this flexion. Those of you who may struggle with ball striking often get this flicky position. Well, that's you releasing the frisbee too early. But imagine coming through here and just throwing it into this top corner here. Naturally, you would find the timing of this Instinctively, when you throw a frisbee, the release happens, look, there. So you start with the backswing first, throw the frisbee here. Just on this alone, imagine this. When you're doing these motions, do you throw a frisbee just with your torso? No, watch this. As you're doing this, look at this. You're throwing a frisbee, you'll notice almost, if I'm gonna throw it over there, there's almost this like forward press before I go. How many tall players and players do you see have this little movement? Why? Because they're setting themselves up to throw this way and then look, and then they're gonna set themselves over here to throw this way. 
So you're starting already to coordinate this motion without even thinking about all these positions. They're going to happen much more naturally. You make, does that make sense? So what we do is you get that sensation and you go, okay, you might want to start with just the first one. You might, okay, so from here, I'm just going to throw the Frisbee. So there it is in my hand. I'm not going to flick it here. That won't make any sense. Throw it into that top corner here. And then on the way down, throw it into that top corner here. Am I going to throw it towards the target? No, that wouldn't make any sense at all. Am I going to throw it over here? Not unless I'm going to draw the ball, right? So let's have a go at this. Throw the Frisbee on both sides. That's pretty good to me. Get in the hole. Not bad, right? So look at this. We're wanting to coordinate the motion here. We want to know, well, when do you set the wrists? Well, you set the wrists when you, from here, watch this, we decide to explode and throw it as far as we can over there. That's when you extend this leg and you throw. Well, what happens on the lead side? Same principle. Well, you're going to naturally, because it's in your mind now, you're throwing a frisbee, you're going to move on to this side, and then what do you do? Well, you're going to rotate naturally to throw it over in this corner, and then your lead side extends two, so you get, look, you get two things in one. You get the backswing takeaway and the downswing. Look at this on the way through now. There's your frisbee. Now, when does this release? How do you turn your hips? All that? Well, watch, if I'm throwing it in that top corner, watch this. Boom, I'm going to use the ground to throw that frisbee. And, I, and you basically get both backswing and downswing, all wrapped up in a simple image, a simple feel that, do you know what? I know that you can do. I really, really do. So let's do this one more time. In fact, no, let's try it with driver. Hold on for a second. I'm going to try the exact same thing now with driver. So you might be asking, is there a difference between your driver swing and your iron swing with this? Well, look, yes. With an iron, you want to be literally compressing the golf ball, so hitting more down on it. With a driver, you want to be launching the ball so you get lots of carry, so you want to be hitting more up on the shot because it's on a tee. So how do you modify this? Well, imagine taking the Frisbee, and all you're going to do is you're going to imagine throwing the Frisbee lower into this corner with your upper iron shots, and then imagine throwing it much higher, in this situation, up towards the track man, for driver. Now, the great thing about this is you've done those things before. So a lot of these beautiful rotational motions and what you do with the body, you get it all for free because you've got a great image. You know, you'll see some of the lead players with driver, you'll see them straight, you know, like extending this lead leg. Do you think they're thinking about it? No. It's a result of them trying to throw or hit the ball as high as they can with driver to launch it. So they push from the ground. You won't see as much as that with the irons because they're trying to keep a more penetrating ball flight all the rotation for free. Backswing two, you don't throw a frisbee like this, you throw it like this. So look, this lever is completely intact until you cock your wrist later when you throw. Same here, look, lever's intact until later, right? Get all this for free. Downswing, well, how do you transfer your weight? Well, get the right image. You don't throw a frisbee off your back foot, naturally you keep the image, forward, throw, right? So, let's have a look at this in action now. I brought you to the 15th of Wentworth on the Trackman Sim. Super tight hurl. Let's see if we can just, this is probably one that I ease off the power a little bit and just let's put a fairway finder in play, but let's have some fun with it. Right, come on Danny boy. Frisbee here, look, frisbee here, frisbee here. Let's go. Just a fairway finder. Come back, there you go. <laughs> that is so tight down there. Ease off a little bit, and then away you go. This is all the more important. So, let's summarize what we've done. Firstly, if you're enjoying the, enjoying the video, don't forget to kind of, you know, join the channel, join the community by pressing that subscribe button. Look, share this video with some friends, and maybe give it a thumbs up if you've really, really enjoyed it. I put a practice plan in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing, all right? But let's just summarize. We want to achieve these great movements here, these great positions here on the way back. Coordinated motion here, face parallel with the spine, when do you cock the wrists? It's fine to work on these things, but I just find sometimes it can be just a bit overcomplicated. Having simple images of like throwing a frisbee can help you find these positions more naturally and more flowingly. Again, on the way through, starting to strike those balls much more effectively, all right? So keep it there, work and just feel these motions backwards and forwards. Frisbee here, 
frisbee here. All right, so again, look, you enjoy the training, give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends, and of course, if you're new to the channel, come and join the community so I can deliver more content like this to try and make this game much easier for you to learn. But until next week, have a great golfing week.